Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and today we're going to be talking about the big three, design, volume, and dimensions. We have a lot of our customers calling us up and just telling us, uh, hey, you really guys really picked us a great stick for uh, you know either their performance shortboard all the way up to their longboard, and people want to know, hey, how do you guys keep picking winners for, uh, for these boards, regardless of the surfer size or where they live or how good they are or the type of board that they're riding. So we wanted to share with you the formula that we use to pick the right design, the right volume, and the right dimensions on every board that we send out a reel. So the first thing you always want to be thinking about is design. And that's a, that's a big thing to be thinking about. Uh, a lot of people think about length first. They're like, I want a 6.2, I want a 6.1, I want a 6.0. The very first thing that you should be thinking about when picking your board is design. How do you want the board to perform and in what conditions do you want the board to perform? And if you think about that, rather than the length of the board, you're going to be in the right section of the board loft at real or in the board loft at any other shop immediately right off the bat. So whether it be I want to be a good nose rider or whether it be I want to have a really good high performance short board in punchy surf, either of those two things are going to put you in the right design category. Think about how you want that board to perform and also the size of surf and the shape of surf that you want that board to perform in. Design is the very first thing you should be thinking about. The next thing you want to think about is volume. The volume of the board is how much flotation the board has in it or how much foam it has in it minus the weight of the board itself. A lot of people say, well, if I lose five pounds myself, isn't that like having the board uh, losing five pounds in weight? It's completely unrelated. The board itself is the only thing that's floating you. So you want to have the foam in the board minus the weight. So any construction that is lighter, so if it's, a, uh, if it's an epoxy hybrid construction or a sandwich construction that's a lighter construction or a lighter glass job, any of those things are gonna give the board more flotation per the overall size of the board. Every surfer has volumes that they like and they typically have a uh, almost like an upside down bell curve of what they're gonna like for the volumes. The groveler is going to have more volume because in small surf you need more foam to give you the push underneath you. Then when you get to your everyday board that you're riding in good conditions, uh, that board you can get away with less volume because you have the speed of the wave and you want to be able to throw the board around as hard as possible. And then when you get into bigger surf, you're going to go back into more volume to get that paddle power to be able to get into those bigger, faster moving waves. So find out the volume that works for you, like in my own boards. I'm normally between 35 and 40 liters of volume, depending on the design of the board and also the size of the wave that I'm going to be using it in and the power of that wave. But typically I find that all my boards are between 35 and 40 liters of volume. Last thing is dimensions. And prior to listening to the big three and or DVD, dimensions was probably the first thing you were thinking about. And most likely it was all on length, like, oh, I only serve six ones. And when somebody said, hey, well, you could surf this board in a 5.9, you would say, absolutely no way, I only surf six ones. Once you've picked the design of the board and where you want that performance target to be, and then you also know the volume that works for you, the dimensions is actually what links the volume back to the design. So every design has a set of stock dimensions that works with it, basically like a, uh, a parameter in which that design will perform with the dimensions with that volume. The dimensions is actually what connects everything back together. So rather than thinking about dimensions first, think about design first and how you want that board to perform the volume that you need uh, for, for where you're going to be using it, whether it be grovel, whether it be uh, all around every day, or whether it be as a step up. And then the dimensions are going to connect those three together. Um, a little bit about dimensions is that typically the, the longer boards are going to have a better paddle ability just because they've got a longer water line and they're also going to be able to control speed uh, better. So if you're in bigger surf, they're gonna, the rail line will hold in better. The longer boards typically uh, are not as maneuverable in smaller waves. Wider boards give you more glide and more power underfoot, but also the width makes them slower edge to edge. So it's all a give and take, but it's those dimensions that connect the volume that go all the way back to making that design. So now that we've learned about the big three, design, volume, and dimensions, we're gonna pick a board. Again, this is the exact same way we do it on all the boards that we send out a reel, and then also all the boards we pick for ourselves. So right behind me, we've got some Lost Pelagic Fishes uh, from a 6.1 all the way down to a 5.5. So uh, 
if I'm looking at this board, I know I already have uh, some real grovelers, so I'm looking at this board as a one up from my, my pure groveler. And so I know that I can run it uh, down again, down on that lower part of the volume. So with me like 35, 36 liters of volume. So this is the design I'm looking for. So I'm looking for like a good everyday board that's gonna work in the min range of my surfing. I know that with that, with that board, I can ride it like 35, 36, 37 liters of volume. So we're gonna look at this board and basically find out, first this is the, the design. Uh, we're gonna look at which one is the right volume. And I, I pulled out the 6.0, and the 6.0, it has it listed right here, 36.12. So that's right in where, uh, where I like this board and Mike River to be. Uh, and then last is, is the dimension. So 6.0 in length, 21 in width, and 2.56 in thickness. Now, um, if you would have told me that I'd be riding a, a 6.0, I would have said you're absolutely crazy, because most of my boards prior to riding like this or, or stuff shorter than this were more in the 6.4 to 6.6 range. But because this design has so much area in the front of the board, and because it's, it's, this board is designed and shaped to be ridden this short, and then have that much volume, you can ride it at that length. So again, what we're trying to do here is get people a little bit less directly hooked into just the length and think about it as a process. Design first, then volume, then dimensions. Hope you got something out of this video. Have a good time on the water. We look forward to seeing you out there.